Welcome back everyone to Chemical React. I'm your host, Fusion Form. And over there, like always, is my co-host Gorilla Fist. Mm. And today we're watching Baki Season 1 Episode 8. Having a uh, continuing the good old English dub version because it's not much. I mean, it's very special because it's so crazy. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> so, Gorilla. Yes. When did you first see it? When was the first time you saw Baki? Believe it or not, when I first started watching anime, this is back when I was 13, believe it or not. I think I want to say 14. So I was the same age as Baki. And so I wanted to basically just fight and beat people up like Baki and train and get stronger and just, I don't know. At this time, this anime resonated with me because <laughs> I wanted to be that guy. I think we all wanted, I kids, we wanted to be like Goku or Gohan and just, just, just kick butt and just be, yeah. And you wanted to be like Baki and grapple yeah. people. Sure. And again, I was on this anime binge and I didn't have any recommendation. I was just going off of what I had from like Apple's like anime list. And I, I strangely enough, from Baki, I went to Clannad. <laughs> Completely but I, different uh, animes, but. That's another discussion. But in another aspect, you went from Baki to wrestling in school. Yeah, that was interesting because, uh, I don't know. Again, I just felt like if I want to become a good fighter or just uh, just protect myself, I have to learn how to defend myself, whether it's wrestling, jiu-jitsu, by the way. That's important. And uh, boxing and everything. But I like but, to uh, go back because this anime is so over the top and it's so crazy. And there's a little bit of truth to every fighting in here and there. But just <laughs> just the sheer amount of just... It's, a, it's just a good old time. You know, in the last episode, Baki did quite a, a unique tactic by putting glass in his mouth to that, make sure he didn't pass out. That, that's just insanity, dude. <laughs> and now they're like, now they're like best buds. Oh, yeah, like, you won. <laughs> and he's in his thong. He's like, yeah, bro, you won. <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh and i'm sure it's only going to get even crazier from this point on oh yeah trust me it's gonna get crazier i don't really remember much i do remember there was a vietnam vet i really want to see that scene don't know which episode but obviously i'm gonna let you know when it comes but before we jump any further come and join our patreon to get access to our raw our raw reaction footage to other shows as well as movie reactions that is exclusive to the patreon only also, come and join our Discord and say hello. Links and info in the description below. And without further ado, Fusion, I got my fingers up. In three, two, one, go. Oh. Why did I throw my gun away, you ask? It's simple. <laughs> What's going on here? I once saw a man kill a polar bear with only his bear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've never seen a bear more worthy to be a bear in all my years on Earth. I've never seen a bear more worthy of being a bear. That's a that's a quote. <laughs> okay, he just punched it. That poor bear. Oh, oh wow. Oh. Can we talk about this guy's chin? Can we talk about his red eyes? <laughs> and his and his muscles? He has so many muscles that his spines have like triple muscles. Oh wait until the wait until you see the meaning behind his muscles. What <laughs> wait, what? He just flatlined a bear's heart by punching it. As I watched him walk away, I saw something that confirmed my feeling that I was seeing more than a man. It was no hallucination. It was a demon. A demon. Yeah. His muscles are so big and shredded, he literally has a demon face on his back. Well then. Yeah. And back, meanwhile, in the city of Tokyo. Oh, is this Sonic Adventures 2? Yujiro! You could easily be mistaken in this situation. Me? You don't remember Sonic uh, jumping out of the helicopter? No, no. Uh, I was agreeing oh, with you. Oh. Impossible. Can you imagine being at this party? Like, you just saw two teenagers beat it out, and you see this grown-ass man just grappling hook his way in here. <laughs> From a helicopter. <sighs> My father! What? Can't be. 
He is terrifying looking. Oh yeah, dude. He's no joke. Nice to see you again, Baki. <laughs> what? <laughs> Meanwhile, with the horny mother that has weird I don't know, she's just weird. I got nothing for her. <laughs> Listens like it did that day. Oh wow, look at her. She actually looked nice. It's sweet. The wind's gotten a little bit chilly, my dear. Maybe we should go back inside for a while. I'm not used to what? hearing you call me your wife. What's happening? I Is know that Maki's dad? I don't think so. I think he's gonna come in and beat the crap out of this guy and he's gonna be like, I love this man. I wasn't expecting a flashback here. Yeah, was I? I completely forgot about this. Aichi, if this is her, you've surpassed yourself. Hello, Bob. It's good to see you. I could use a Aichi, face like that Bob, Bill, <laughs> <laughs> Doom Hour. I'm just a little surprised with the whole thing. I'm not familiar with all this. I'm not used to being treated like some kind of royalty or something. I understand. All of this. Oh my gosh, she's so innocent and sweet. You've left behind. Oh, they corrupted her. Just 13 seconds. What? What? You sense, what? You sense that? He, he sensed Baki's father. Look at him. Snazzy. Ah, she's a thought. Emmy, what are you doing? <laughs> you sure that she's terrified? <laughs> Dang! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, that caught me off guard. You're unparalleled as a fighter, but as for your abilities as a dresser, I'm afraid you still need training. <laughs> You gonna they get it? Better. You're acting like a jerk. And you're acting like a prostitute. Go. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Low life trash. <laughs> what? Oh. He floated to the freaking ring. <laughs> Don't count on your reputation to get you out of this, Yujiro. I'm not scared of your name. This match is you no should be. Who cares if you're scared? You've got to get your butt whooped. That's how you do it. You don't even pay attention to that guy. What is this? An axe kick. Yep, an axe kick. That guy's a monster. Ooh. Her feral instincts are trembling. Is that what's going on? Like, is that like the need for the strongest, uh, like fighter, like the strong, uh, like hunter gatherer type of thing that's going on here? That's what I think's happening. Except she's a little twisted. Yeah, you know. What a superb wife you are! Not even a week into oh, our you're marriage, his wife? you're already, it's already a week. Yeah, you are right. He, she is a thought. <laughs> Hmm. I'm sorry. It's so hard to fantasize about the other. By the way, man guys, this is the is opposite speak. thing you want to do to keep your woman. A husband shouldn't talk to his wife that way. I've never seen this side of you. You're a monster. A monster. <laughs> <laughs> what a little. <laughs> to collect you. Uh, why are you run away <laughs> like that? Hello? Somebody help me. Where is everybody? Dead. <laughs> You love the sight of blood, have violence in your soul. You like seeing that man die tonight because it's within you. He it died? The very reason why you have already <laughs> Wait, which one? With the me. boxer? <laughs> or the, the judo guy? Get the hell out or I'll shoot. I'll shoot! It was just a kick. No, it was an axe kick to the, this to the skull, to which is the center of the circle part. But also he, uh, you know what, just like, let's watch. Let's like choke that hoe. Oh. Or oh, do that. And now she's a widow. Congrats, you can now marry him. <laughs> oh my 
yeah, she's... I knew it. Mm, you it. evil girl. Mm. <laughs> like, girl, what is this? You will bear me a son, Baki, and he will be the most powerful man in the world. <laughs> I don't, what a weird... I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this relationship. Okay. And then they did it, right? Next to the dead body? I I would believe it. I, that's what I would assume. Welcome back, Mrs. Akizawa. That's a lot of maids. We're all extremely hurt for the tragic and sudden passing of your husband. Thank you for your grief. You can carry on as usual. Ah, so that explains how yes, she ma still has all this as you money and power. Uh, yeah. And from this day forward, I vow to follow my husband's lead and make the Akizawa group even mightier. For your sake, Baki. My yeah, son. this is... <laughs> This is she's even, she's even worse than I thought. I don't want to feel about her. It's your move. Your cowardice makes a mockery of you. <laughs> you fool. <Ooh>. Father, no! <laughs> Daddy, no! <laughs> Must feel to I kind of feel bad for him now. A fighter for so yeah, long. right? Only to realize you've never really been in a fight. Oh. oh. Hmm. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. Oh. What was that? <laughs> was that like a Japanese dialogue that was... Or was just ramble, rabble? I don't know what that was. I don't know what's going on, but it was funny. <laughs> what's the matter? Haven't you ever seen a demon before? No, I haven't. Stay down! He'll kill you! You can't go on like this! <laughs> That's enough! <laughs> Jeez. She is crazy. Oh, she don't even know. Uh, you bastard! Uh, oh, oh. Whoa. Your unshaken mercy for others is a sign of weakness. You just stay there. And there's this disgrace. I'll kill you. No! Yeah! Hey. Hana... Yama... Uh, oh my god. So I see. You're still trying to be a warrior, are you? Oh, he broke his jaw! I'm to die like a warrior. I truly don't see it. You don't have the hate in you. Horrible! Far worse. Hanayama looks like a little boy in his hands. He's not. I mean, be I mean be because. Uh, I, I mean, I, yes. <laughs> Monstrosity. <laughs> Hanayama. He's not worthy of death by my hand. Wake up, yeah. Hanayama! Wake up. Not worthy of death. I can't wait for Baki to beat his ass. Oh my god. That's my life goal for this show now. <gasps> I've anticipated your arrival. But you but you just look shocked. <laughs> <laughs> this chick. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I miss you what? So what? <laughs> you haven't done as I instructed, Emmy. Baki's not the man I wanted you to raise. Instead of a warrior, 
You've given me an embarrassment to the Hanma name. You're wrong. I raised Baki with nothing but that in mind. Nothing but top-class coaches, nothing but top-class facilities, only the best. Just to make you happy. Facilities and coaches, you are a fool. Childish training approaches will produce a mere child, but a child is not satisfactory. Time is running out. I'll train him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Release your anger. It's the only thing that keeps you interested. Oh my god, I don't even know. This relationship gets weirder and weirder. Oh my god, what? Oh. I've changed my mind. I want to try chewing on the baki you cooked up for me. What? And, Wait, and then, Wait a minute. <laughs> and then they did it. It's... I kind of feel bad for Baki, man. I understand now why he wants to like just leave everything behind and do it his way. This music's still going on. Yeah, man. It's got to be impactful. We got to think. <laughs> it's giving me a lot to think about. Oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> yep. All right. That's the end of that episode. Mm. How you like that episode? That I, it was a lot. I I didn't know how twisted the mother was until I got that flashback. I'm like, whoa! So she hooked up with this one dude. It's only been a week. She started getting feelings for this other guy, and then she basically gets abused by the guy. And then Baki's father comes in and was like, "I watch you," and just kills the guy. No, 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 no. That's not exactly what happened. It was. She was married yeah, for a week. For a week. Then saw him once in one day and was like, yes. And then he killed him and they fucked. <laughs> yeah, I, I, she, just, we already thought she was crazy to begin with. Now she's just fucking psychopathic. Um, I, wow. So she is... Very, I'm assuming, very bipolar. <laughs> very bipolar? I don't know the actual correct term. I don't want to talk about, like, parents over here, but, like, it's like Stockholm Syndrome, but then again, she's, like, she's into it, too. Not, that's, that's not Stockholm Syndrome. Is it more or less? She, she, no, she wants all of this. Yeah, but it's also the fear of it, too, you know. She's not scared. I think she is. I don't think she is. I think she's scared, but I think she's turned off by that being scared, you know? Like an no, no, I, I, I don't think she's scared in the slightest. Cause she, he said that she's, she wants the blood, she wants the death. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't think she's scared in the slightest. But uh, Hanayama got his ass kicked. Uh, got his ass kicked. Got one of his leg pretty much broken. broken. He got jaw broken. <laughs> uh, Baki got bitch slapped, knocked out. Um. Can we talk about the fact, like, you know, in the previous episode, there's literally two teenagers, one gangster, one 13-year-old, the other one 15. They fought. They had this tough match. Bucky did the whole thing with the glass in the mouth. He came out of the fucking skyscraper building, whatever. He survived. And then all right, of a sudden, yeah. his father shows up, and he just starts wrecking things. I thought we were going to have yeah. a 2v1 situation, but no. I don't, I don't know when he fights his father, if he fights his father yet, but I want him to win. Do you want him to win? I want Baki to win. I wish I could tell you, but I'm just gonna leave that as a mystery. That's good. Don't tell me. Let let me be surprised. All right, you're gonna be. But but an interesting thing I want to point out. Yes. As I know, you have seen the the newest season of Baki's like artwork or art. Mm -hmm. So you know what Baki looks like. Uh I kind of do. If I remember correctly. But yes. It, he has brown hair in the third season like his mom interesting compared i did to... not notice that i just noticed he had longer hair in the setting well i just thought about it though he has brown hair like his mom in the third season compared to these seasons where he has red hair like his father yes because the whole literally his whole existence baki 
is to become the ultimate fighter for his dad. And his mother doesn't even see and consider anything about his feelings, what he should do. He just doesn't. He said, like, I did. I she's like, I did it feel, all for you to make you happy. I feel like, based on how her they have just showed her personality, mm -hmm. I feel like she actually has an, a, a, a underarching plan and cares for Baki more. You're right. Then you're right. Actually, that, her love. That's reasonable because yeah, because in the beginning, I mean, her husband was killed in front of her, and then she lied about the conflict. Regardless of what the situation, she owns the fucking business, but, and, and, and Baki is her is her child. Is no her. matter what, no matter how much her love for him is, mm -hmm. Baki, it's it's her own flesh and blood, and I think holds a, a stronger place, and will be shown later on. Yep, but uh, also just to uh, keep on about your brown hair thing. Mm -hmm. That's smart, because now, like, in the beginning, he had reddish-orange hair, because he's trying to be, like, his father. He was on the path to become his father, but mm -hmm. he differentiated. And after, I think, season two, season, two season, uh, his hair starts to change. He starts to become more like his mother. Maybe he's not, like, crazy like his dad. But <laughs> not he, as crazy. Maybe, but he likes to fight and get into things. But, like, you know, he's, 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 he's basically his father said he has mercy in his heart. I feel like I feel like he's going to become a better person overall than both of them, mm -hmm. but with a more uh, I think a more passionate side like his mom. I because I feel his mom is passionate. I don't, but I feel like his dad. Oh yeah, the mom. whole motive I had when she tried to stab uh, Baki's father it, that was all emotional response, and he literally exactly. Yeah, yep. I get what you mean. I get it. I get it. She's an emotional <laughs> rep. That's what it is. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. We'll go with that. And bipolar, but she's got she's got a toy motive. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, I think that wraps it up. So, like always, guys, we'll see you to the next episode. <laughs>